Hello, everyone. Welcome to our spring exposure celebration. Today, uh, we're here to celebrate all of our students who have completed our spring 2021 semester. Um, it's been a tremendous year, and so we're really excited to be able to share all of the amazing all images that our, our students have produced this year. My name is Lucia Torres. I'm the executive director here at Las Fotos Project, and I'm so glad to be here with you today. Um, before we get started, just a couple of reminders, if you can place yourself on mute as our students are speaking. And then also I would recommend viewing uh, your screen and speaker view, which is if you look up at the right hand side of your screen, you can change that around. That'll give you a better view of our students as they're speaking and the slide that they'll be presenting. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started because we have such amazing images and stories for you all to um, experience and see. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with our organization, we are Las Fotos Project, inspiring teenage girls through photography. We do this uh, through three of our programs. If I can get the next slide. Um, oh, sorry, excuse me. Before that, uh, you can view all of our exhibitions at our website, lasfotosproject.org slash exhibitions. It was popped into the chat earlier to, um, uh, when you all joined the, the room, uh, but we'll pop it into the chat in a little bit as well. Uh, you can log on to our website, lasfotosproject.org. It'll be right there on the homepage as well. So about Las Fotos Project, our mission is to elevate the voices of teenage girls from communities of color through photography and mentorship for the benefit of themselves, uh, their communities, and their future careers. And we do this through three programs. These are our core programs where our students uh, gain all of their photography training and produce all of their work. You'll be hearing from representatives from each of these classes today. So this is why it's a really special day uh, today because we're able to bring all of these students together to share. Uh, so you get a kind of roundabout view of all of our programs. Our first program is Esta Soy Yo. That's a program that started our organization back in 2010. And so Esta Soy Yo uses photography uh, through like experimentation and photography experimentation and experiment with light, color, things like that. And Esta Soyo is all about finding yourself and finding your identity and your voice through photography. Our next program is called Digital Promotoras. This program was actually founded in 2014, so it's our second oldest program. And this program is all about advocating for your community. So our Digital Promotora students choose an issue that's really important to them, something that's affecting their community or something that they feel they'd like to get more involved with. And they go out and they document these issues through photojournalism and documentary photography. So today you're, you'll also be hearing from some of our digital promotora students and the issues that they're, they feel are very important to them and to their community as well. Um, and so I, you know, we have some amazing um, uh, projects that our students created. And so I'm so glad that you'll be able to hear what some of those projects today and then our third and newest program is called CEO, that's Creative Entrepreneurship Opportunities. And this program is all about future careers. So through our CEO program, our students not only gain technical photography training, but then they're also paired with professional mentors and are provided an opportunity to go on the job and be lead photographers and get paid for the work they're doing. So they're, they're learning photography, they're getting paid, they're getting uh, growing their networks, building their portfolios and building their resume. So today you're gonna to hear from some of the students who have been able to do that through our program and they'll share some of the, their portfolio work as well. And so without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our first teaching artist of the night who is uh, our teaching artist for our Esta Soy Yo I Am class. And Evelyn, if you can join us on screen, Evelyn will share all about what the IM class is about and then tell us a little bit about herself uh, and the experience as well from the semester. Cool. Thank you, Lucia. Hi, everyone. Um, my name's Evelyn and I am uh, as a Soyo 101 IM class teacher, um, teaching artist this semester. Thank you all. Um, <laughs> I would, I'm very happy to be here and I'm very, very proud of the student work that you can all view on Las Fotos Project website. I would like to just talk about some highlights and um, for me personally, for my personal experience. And then also, um, actually I would like to highlight the student work that um, is um, on view right now. So a couple of highlights for me and then Lucia's also, of course, I've talked about what I, um, the class is, um, is focusing on is about exploring self-identities. Um, but 
what's really amazing for me was um, the experience of me with my class and of course mentors um, where we had when we had our critiques and was it when I we when I was able to see um, and hear students talk about their own work and um, to see the progress the students were making throughout the uh, so as the semester was going um, went on. Another amazing part for me was about Artists of the Week, um, where we looked closely at one photographer's work um, together closely every week. These are some of the artists that have really inspired me and me and the mentors, and I really hope that they inspire the students as well. And of course, I was most um, happy about the small moments where we were just chatting and getting just about like food and mo uh, movies, TV shows and music that we all love. So. What resulted is um, a combination exhibition of student work um, ranging a wide um, variety of topics. So my students um, photograph different aspects of their life, such as using um, trains, domestic, domestic spaces, outdoor landscapes, places that they're traveling to, music, personal belongings, all these different um, objects and spaces in order to explore notions of family, intimacy, nature, memory, time, and mental health. So I'm really, really proud of the work that they um, were, were able to put together at the end. And please, please go ahead and look at them on um, the website. Um, for me, it was a really intimate, powerful, and inspiring um, experience to be able to be part of the conversation, um, to witness the growth of the students um, that I was also part of. And I'm Again, really, really grateful for the students and for the mentors um, of my class. Um, without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, our student representative from my class, Betsy, who, um, whose work um, for the semester is combine, combining um, portraits, landscape photos, and poetry, read her captions, to talk about her relationship with both um, nature and family. Thank you all for joining me and thank you for having me. Um, hi everyone, my name is Betsy Mariano and I'm 17 years old going to a college. Um, so I really want to talk about my photography interests, like Evelyn said. I'm interested in landscape and um, portraits and also um, very few random things. Um, but for this project, like Evelyn said, I combine both portraits and my landscape pictures together. And uh, I chose this picture because it's one of my favorites. Um, the editing process really um, made me realize that I could do it. Um, I normally don't edit my photos because I want them to be viewed as raw, but this um, landscape picture was, really dull and I wanted to make it more um, colorful because I want people to see that being in nature with my family is something that makes me happy and um, I get a lot of joy from that. Um, I used um, Pixar for this, which also like mind blowing for me. Um, but um, in this picture, um, my two brothers are in this. And in the original one, they were very affectionate with each other, hugging, laughing. And I realized that, that those emotions also, um, those emotions are also connected to how I feel about nature. And I really wanted to include these together because I didn't want to make separate um, picture, separate like, representations I wanted to I wanted them to be together because I had other pictures to share and um, yeah so I just wanted to share the the description of this um, picture which is a poem and it is she gives us freedom and visibility giving us smiles in life, in rain and shine. She's beautiful and her name is Mother Nature. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Betsy. Oh, let me turn on my video. Hi, uh, I am Royal and I am the Esta Soyo 201 teacher. I am really, really excited to be here today to talk to you a little bit about how class went this semester and hopefully you've had a chance to look at some of the photos already. If not, after this, you should definitely go check out the exhibits because they're amazing. This semester, I feel like I have grown so much as a person and I know for sure that the students have as well. Just seeing how far they've come from their first uploads to their final projects has been really amazing. I really love the community space we were able to build in our class. We kind of gotten to a rhythm the last few classes of watching there's like almost like a we almost have like soaps together there's a youtube series where four photographers shoot the same model and we start watching it together and like sharing our opinions on what's happening and like voting about like which one we like the best and i just am really grateful for how the students showed up for each other and for themselves especially with this being a self portrait focused class, I think so much of ourselves were brought to how we were collaborating and how we were communicating and how we were holding space for each other. And so I um, just want to congratulate all of the students again. And next we will hear a little bit from one of my students. Um, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Julieta Litin. I, yeah, participated in Royals class this semester, and uh, yeah, I'll just talk a little bit about myself. I'm 16 years old. Uh, from, was born and raised in Chile and moved to LA about four years ago, and will be moving again um, this summer to Boston, and. Yeah, joining this class was a really interesting challenge, I think, because I'd never really ventured in self-portraiture before. Um, and it was a very amazing um, space to to learn all of this in. Um, I mean, the community that was formed really was very motivational and supportive. And, and since it's a, an individual thing, one, it's a very intimidating and awkward um, method or approach to photography as well. But it really, I feel like it really sparked a side of myself that I didn't know before. Um, a very creative and imaginative side of me. And yeah, I feel like this picture uh, portrays that in a way that, um, I don't know, I took this picture in the beginning of the semester. Um, and I think one of the first times that I was taking self portraits and was just playing around with really like no expectations and came across this and I, I had never really achieved any like, double exposure looking like photo and haven't taken a similar one yet so I kind of started touching it and like turned it into black and white and then my mom helped me with photoshop um with those flower looking like things <laughs> and um and it was a really fun and interesting process and yeah I just wanted to highlight all the growth um, like Royal said that I've gained from this class and wanted to thank the community and my teacher and my mentor and all the other girls because it was definitely a worthy experience especially during this pandemic time <laughs> so yeah that's all I gotta say <laughs> thank you Julieta um, I just want to preface this by saying, of course, I got a notification that my internet is unstable, so hope we get through this. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Leah Hubbard. I use she, her pronouns. I'm grateful to have been the teaching artist for Digital Promotoras Acts of Love this semester. 
acts of love explores the meaning of love and how it shows up in our individual lives and communities. We identified how we care for each other, how we care for ourselves, and tie that into the visual stories that you can see within our exhibition. Um, I'll be honest that working in a virtual classroom again this semester still came with difficulties as long as we've been using Zoom. Um, it's very exhausting for our students and our mentors and COVID and its effects were still very real for many of us. But each Saturday was a highlight and offered us the opportunity to establish deeper connections and create community. Um, so I hope that for our audience, Acts of Love can expand your ideas about love. Um, from Alexa's project that explored communal support during the pandemic, to Mia's creative exploration of rituals of love for those who have passed away, um, Sanaya's tribute to her mother and her love, and Jalen's documentation of her coming of age and all the emotions um, that come with that. Our lives are messy and complex, but they're also joyful and full of love, and that's what holds them together. So as always, I'm proud of every single one of my students for giving it their all this semester. It was a joy to have you in class. I see some of you uh, in here. And as I've said before, if I'm ever worried about the future, you give me all the hope that I need. Um, I also want to thank the mentors in my class, also see some of you here. Um, thank you for your commitment, those old, those new. Um, it's never possible without you. And also thank you for being vulnerable and sharing pieces of yourself within class with all of us. So with that said, the person you should really hear from is one of our students. Mary Jane documented the moments of love and silliness within their family. MJ not only did an amazing job of experimenting with composition, but was also always willing to share and help out in class. Their passion and excitement for photography is inspiring. So please welcome Mary Jane, who will tell you more about their project and experience with Las Fotos Project. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Mary Jane Hoya. <laughs> I'm 14 years old and I recently graduated from middle school. As I move on into high school, I plan to continue practicing photography with the support of my family and friends. I'm very outspoken and creative and one of the many reasons I love photography is because I'm able to tell a story through my photos. My photography journey began when I first saw my older sister using a camera on a trip we went to. She had left me in charge of the camera, but she would tell me not to mess with it every time she saw me touch the camera. However, at every opportunity I had, I would secretly snap a photo. And at that moment, I felt overjoyed as if I was being welcomed into a new world full of colors and passion. I realized that photography was my passion and I couldn't imagine a life without it. Since then, I've, been de I've dedicated every moment of my life to taking photos and learning more about photography. I enjoy photographing my family and places we visit since we go to a lot of new places. My hopes is that through my photography, you will be able to feel as if you're really there, experiencing the moment, not just through a photo. Last Photos Project has been such an amazing experience and it's a great honor to be able to share my experience. One of my favorite moments from Las Fotos Projects is when we would share our photos to the entire class. I loved hearing everyone's support and it felt amazing to read how much people liked my photos and how they liked the playfulness and the lighting, but most importantly, the meaning behind the photo. I remember the first time we had to share, I was so nervous and scared of what others would say, but then I was met with encouragement and kind words. It made me feel so happy, so happy that I even forgot to breathe. I was freaking out about how many people only had kind things to say, about my photo. When class was done, I would run to my sister and tell her all the kind words the students and mentors said and how happy I was when people loved my photos. She would always sit there smiling while I was freaking out. I love this class, mostly the mentors. Hearing their stories gives me lots of encouragement and seeing how their work progresses gives me hope that soon my photos will look as good as theirs. I chose this photo because of the way it makes me smile every time I look at it. I recently took this photo and it shows, the two, it shows my two sisters and my dad fighting at, at the beach. My favorite thing about my family is our playfulness and, it, and our humor. It shows me that no matter where we are, we will always be the same. I remember when I took the photo, I was laughing so hard and it felt like the whole world stopped for a moment and it was only the four of us. It felt like we were the main characters in a movie. I love taking photos of my family because they are the center of my happiness. And despite the cheesiness of it all, it is the truth. Last of those projects has made me feel more confident in my photography and has made me so happy. The support of everyone makes me feel so many emotions that I can't even explain. 
This has been an incredible experience and opportunity, and I'm looking forward to doing it again next year. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, there we go. So uh, I, I was the uh, TA, or I am the TA of Digital Promotoris, Acts of Resistance. My name is Justin Cyrulnik. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the course, and then I'm going to hand it over to Melania, um, who will talk about her individual project. Um, it was really wonderful hearing about Mary Jane's uh, project, so thank you for sharing Mary Jane. The goal of Digital Promotoris Acts of Resistance has been for mentees to learn how to approach community-oriented photography projects covering activism, resistance, and support through a mentorship learning process that was facilitated by our group of de dedicated mentors, and they put in a ton of work. Uh, for which I am eternally grateful. Uh, in the class, students identified their interest in community activism, support, and resistance. And through a process of exploration, planning, and refinement, students reached the goal of contribution toward a class exhibition and their own personal exhibition, the class exhibition having three images from each uh, mentee, and the personal uh, individual exhibitions, which are linked in the class exhibitions, and I encourage you to look at them because you can see all the work, the, the complex work that's actually occurred. They have 10 to 20 images per mentee, the personal exhibitions. Uh, through working with the expertise of our mentors with whom students grew learning relationships with, students developed their own aesthetics and methods of approaching documentary photography. This was uh, my first semester with Las Photos Project, and it was definitely a big challenge uh, to learn how to uh, engage in pedagogy and teaching over distance, uh, over a distance learning environment, and find ways to create a communal space given we can't all physically be in the same room for the class. Um, it was definitely a shift to learn how to keep everyone on the boat as uh, many of us face personal challenges during COVID and, and some of us had, uh, or many of us had personal losses. I think what's really great is that we managed to find our communal space uh, through our process of exercising patience and listening to and relying on each other. Uh, this was a compelling experience for me to give mentors an opportunity to contribute to the format and, and the weekly tasks uh, that students did in the classes we navigated the course together, always somewhat in response or keeping with students' progression, meaning we, we kept on switching what the course would be week to week in order to adapt to what students were producing and, and how they were growing in the course. Uh, so I think learning how to make an adaptable open space uh, was one of the biggest uh, challenges. I'm definitely grateful for that challenge. I think we were very successful meeting that challenge. The class covered technical basics in photography, which included exposure, focus, framing, and composition, um, and dealing with a, a wide variety of lighting and movement situations. With the basic training that was provided, any mentee could go out in the world and would know how to be a documentary photographer. We talked a lot about what makes a strong photograph, and we also learned how to explore and understand the relations of images when they come by, when they are paired and placed next to each other. Through a process of photographing and project critique, students and mentors in engaged in group learning where they provide each other feedback and contribute insights relevant to each other's projects. Uh, this was an exploration research oriented class. Uh, where we learned how to deal with the uncertainty that documentary projects not necessarily involve. Um, they, they do necessarily involve an amount of uncertainty because until we arrive, we don't really know what's out there. We don't know which things are gonna turn out best and what's gonna work out. And we don't know how things are gonna come together in relation to each other. So we learn through exploring and through doing and through this way we traverse uh, past uncertainty into some degree of cohesion. Uh, given that, we, learned, we needed to learn and develop and apply some essential life skills to help us produce these uh, successful projects, which we've done. We learned planning, scheduling, and completing tasks that we ourselves set up for our, our projects. We learned how to be accountable 
for, for our goals. We learned how to plan a shot list, which is essentially a list of proposed photographs and figure out when and how we about, go about getting all those photographs we needed for our projects. In many cases, depending upon the project, we needed to learn how to approach people that were relevant for our work and we needed to figure out what questions we would ask. So we basically learned how to interview um, and record those interviews as well. Uh, we learned how to write to explain our ideas and, mean, and the meanings that were embedded within the photographs that we took. We learned how to put complex, intricate ideas together that could only be approached through the sets of photographs that were produced. While the ideas represent both our interests and a way of looking at the world, the photographs themselves represent what is actually in the world at the time of their taking. There were certain limitations that the uh, time of period of COVID imposed in terms of safely pursuing projects that might involve portraiture, students developed and responded to this time period by de uh, developing innovative ways of approaching the topic of community and resistance. The works were primarily but not all focused on neighborhoods in Los Angeles and addressed the needs of Latino and indig in indigenous communities. The topics mentees covered or cover in their exhibitions are uh, or include food apartheid and oppression in the distribution of food across demographics and race, tension between nature and man-made interference with nature, Latino restaurants, restaurant labor, and small businesses trying to survive in the time of COVID, communal care and support that is provided to those in the community, Indigenous communities and methods of care which reinterpret our understanding of resistance against oppression. Examining the overlap spaces between colonization, religion, and tourism, and the Mexican border and their corollaries here that exist here in Los Angeles. Looking out at how the student community has been affected by COVID, and then uh, the obsolescence of objects in the world as they relate to our ideas and notions of community. So uh, finally, before I pass it off to Millennia, I'm very proud of what we accomplished as a class. I thank the ceaseless dedication of our mentors and the strong curiosity and commitment of our mentees to reach their projects to completion. Uh, we had 10 total completed uh, projects um, uh, each with uh, personal exhibitions of 10 to 20 images uh, each with some text that students have written. Um, mentors and mentees, thank you uh, from the deep uh, well of my heart uh, for making the class uh, what it has been. I've chosen Melania's project for her to present because I felt or I feel that her project is very relevant to our times and the ways in which the history of colonization overlaps with our present moment. Her project deals with the border in Mexico, how, how ideology is imbued and reproduced in tourist objects, the commodity, and how that translates to our community back here in Los Angeles. Uh, I chose Melania's project because I feel her project reveals lines of power and their extension over lived space as it relates to her community. Uh, so thank you for listening to all that. Uh, and I am pleased to pass it over to Melania to talk about her wonderful project. Um, hi, um, my name is Melania, I'm 15 and I was in DP 201. And um, just to begin with, I felt like this class um, really helped me explore the ways in which I could incorporate activism into my art and um, not only use creative thought to create pretty things, but to create pretty things with like um, expensive meaning almost. And um, I was definitely um, able to think out of the box and, um, practice ethics while documenting um, serious topics that affect my community and um, overall it was super fun and eye-opening to participate in this class. Um, not only like did I learn just like activism and like how to go about all that but also the technicality of photography and um, pursuing a creative endeavor that I ended up like um, you know gaining passion for. And 
yeah, even more so online. Um, it was quite the experience and I wouldn't even say it was bad. It was really good. And it, um, I was able to learn so much and challenge myself in an online setting. And um, I found ways to definitely like explore my project with the help of my mentor and teaching artists and um, continue to be safe in the pandemic and retaining boundaries in serious topics that usually um, revolve around the weight that activism um, holds. So um, yeah, on to the picture I took. So I took this on an impromptu trip to Mexico. And I was, I remember actually being pretty apprehensive about this trip because it was just out of the blue, but um, it ended up being really, really beneficial to my project and um, how just the whole idea of like colonialism and, and stuff, how that came into play. But um, we had just arrived in Tijuana and I was seeing pictures of this like scenic route that like freeway scenic route thing. And we, and I was in like the front seat and I just ro <laughs> rolled down the window and started taking pictures because I thought um, the scenery was really pretty. And um, I found out that the red gate in the border, uh, the red gate in the photo is the border, um, specifically the one that Trump tried to build, attempted to build across the US-Mexico um, border. and. Yeah, it's in tandem with my project about colonialism and its effects on colonized communities. And I named this project Border and Rule. And I tried to put an emphasis on the coloniality of borders and other aspects of life common in colonized communities, such as religion, urbanization, and even gentrification, and how um, that affects people of color's quality of life. And um, yeah. I found that the wall has like a curve with the mount with the mountain and it feels kind of almost fantasy like and yeah it's definitely a stark reminder of how like a wall is unnatural and a symbol and physical manifestation of colonial violence and detachment and yeah all in all I just felt that this photo was really representative of my project and really helped me find a a route in which I was going to go with this. So yeah, it was it was a great opportunity to explore two vividly important aspects of my life in, in like this comprehensive manner. And um, yeah, it was great. Thank you. Hi. Um, my name is Kenzie Floyd, and I have had the absolute joy and honor of teaching CEO aptitude this semester with 10 incredibly talented students and their seven dedicated mentors. So like Lucia shared at the beginning of tonight's event, the CEO program is geared towards career development and entrepreneurial skills for jobs in the creative industry. So in the last year, students have had to get very creative as they explored the professional side of photography, worked with clients and grew in their confidence as photographers, all from home and in the virtual space. This semester, students were tasked with choosing a niche of any type of professional photography that they were interested in, with the hope that once things began to open up, they would have a comprehensive portfolio ready to go so that they could be hired for jobs. Many students chose to focus on portraiture, while others explored food, street, fashion, and product photography. This semester, we dove into exploring both the technical aspects of photography through shooting 100% in manual, and then alongside more professional aspects like editing, workflow, gels, posing, pricing, and interacting with clients. As things started to slowly and safely open up, many students got to experience their first in-person CEO gigs as they photographed vaccination events, family photos, and graduation portraits. They were also each given an opportunity for their first paid assignment with the LA Times plant section. They each identified a plant person in their community. This could be a local flower shop, a farmer's market, or their mom in her garden. This really tested each student's independence to plan and execute an assignment from beginning to end all on their own. I was amazed seeing what students were capable of as they put what they had learned in the virtual space to the test. Photography is a very hands-on practice and it's 
tricky to translate virtually. And I think that the stunning work that each student created is truly a testament to their creativity, hard work and dedication. I'm so proud of each of them. Um, they worked hard on creating amazing online portfolios of all of the photos that they made this semester um, that aligned with their creative niche that they chose at the beginning of the semester. Last week during the CEO Pitch Fest, they presented their work and their experience to a room of potential clients, and it was really amazing to see. Alongside our shared love of photography, what I personally loved about this semester was the community that was created in our class. Students cheered one another on, not only with their work, but in each other's personal lives, jobs, and college plans. At the beginning of the semester, we created community guidelines that each student wanted to commit to this semester. Uh, one of the, the main things that each student said that they wanted to commit to was being a safe and encouraging space for one another. And I think that they really did that as they forged friendships inside and outside of class. Our Thursday nights together were consistently the highlight of my week. And I want to also shout out all the amazing mentors who have dedicated so much time and care to their students this semester. Class would truly not be able to happen without them. Our student representative tonight, Katsali, has made impressive progress this semester. We have been in a few classes together during the pandemic, and I really feel like Katsali came into her own this semester. She has been a curious and dedicated student, always asking thoughtful questions and showing a lot of follow through. She has offered her friendship and encouragement to her peers. She almost always stayed late after class just to talk, play games, and hang out. She's also really found her creative voice as she explored portraiture this semester, and she had a lot of chances to take beautiful images at some in-person gigs. Now you will hear from Katsali as she shares a bit about her experience. Uh, good evening, my name is Katsali Kala. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm a 15-year-old photographer based in East Los Angeles. I've been photographing for three years now, and this is my fifth semester with Las Focus Project. The image I chose is one that holds much value and importance to me because it is a visual representation of the love and connection between mother and daughter. This spring, I was chosen to photograph indigenous peoples of the world for a Canva campaign. I was extremely excited to be able to capture and share my culture with the world. I chose to photograph my mom's hands because she is the reason as to why I've been able to learn and connect with my roots and because of our mother-daughter connection. It is something I hold dearly. She is, the, she, is the one, she is the one person who continuously supports me and has always nourished my creativity in any way possible. This semester, I was able to explore different techniques, including how to pose my subjects, creative lighting, and product photography. My class was able to collaborate with the LA Times plants and spotlight plant enthusiasts in our communities. I photographed Ms. Hawkins, my best friend's mom. I've known her my whole life, and I had never asked her about her hobbies whatsoever. After any interviewing her, I felt as if I had really got to know her. After a lot of hard work from all of us, the article was published. The outcome is amazing and I highly suggest you all take a look. Some of us were able to go on our first gig in over a year. We were able to photograph families at the park. This was amazing because I was able to meet some of, some of the girls for the first ever. This semester, we all truly bonded, whether it be through photography talk, playing Kahoot, or simply talking about our lives. End of semester has been, bitter, has been a bittersweet moment. Some of the girls are off to college and I cannot wait to see what they accomplish. As for the rest of us, we have many semesters ahead of us and cannot wait. Thank you. Hello, my name is Melinda Arredondo and I am the teaching artist for CEO Altitude. I am a fashion, fine art and product photographer and have been with Los Photos Project for three semesters now. Our CEO Altitude class is made up of returning Los Photos Project students and industry related mentors. This semester, the mentees focused on creating their portfolios of their desired niche from portraiture to lifestyle to documentary photography, all while learning the ins and outs of the photo industry and working with clients. Our client this semester was Trixie Clothing Company. They provided each student with products to create their own uh, summer lifestyle campaign that will be featured on the Trixie Clothing website and their social media platform. So keep an eye out for that. This opportunity was so empowering and the work was created was so amazing. Even though some of our students had never worked on a campaign with models or a client before, that didn't stop them and they each created their own visually unique campaigns. Although we were virtual this semester, our mentors have held out in big ways by providing demos, dropping off costume and props, lighting studios, and dedicating one-on-one -on -one time for their mentees to edit, shoot, or just hang out and talk. 
after 16 weeks together, I'm so sad for our time to end, but I'm so excited for to see where life takes each and every one of our mentees. Whether they continue photography or move on to do bigger and better things, the community we have created will always be so special to me. Getting to talk and listen to all the different things everyone was doing each week from baking, world events, moving, how we're feeling to prom and Annie's graduation, watching and listening to everyone creating a community and second family really made me excited to come to class every week. It has truly been an amazing journey this semester to see each mentee's creativity and confidence grow as their work changes. Each mentee has created their own portfolio where you will be able to see their client work and personal work. Even though this pandemic kept us virtual, each student was able to use the skills they learned in lighting, product, and visuals to create the work they wanted to and that I believe they could use to be hired in a professional setting. I'm so proud of each and every one of my amazing students. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our CEO Altitude student rep, Ruth Gutierrez. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Ruthie Terrace. I'm 16 years old, my pronouns are she, her. Um, this semester, I my niche was self-portraiture, which I like to use to tell stories or just any random ideas that pop into my head. Um, and this can be used, and with my self-portraiture, I love to um, combine my art with it, which I used to sometimes just make my own props, so just by simply making a set that resonates with whatever is in my head at the moment. Um, uh, I plan to explore my, my portraiture more or less photos and make more stories that will suck the audience in. Um, the image shown, I, the reason I love it so much and always recommend it to people when they ask me what my favorite image is, is because I like the exact opposite feeling of it. Um, birthdays are usually happy and excited, but this one is sad and gloomy and it's meant to represent my quince, which was last year. Um, my 16 this year was happy and excited and I spent and I loved it so much, um, but my quince last year was in the first week of lockdown, which so, and I couldn't really have the big party that I wanted as in my Latino culture, we usually have the big party that represents you stepping into womanhood. So it was quite disappointing I didn't get to have that. So this really, so this photo really represents the gloomy feeling, even though it was, the lockdown was for a very large reason. It was a very um, dis disappointing and sad time. Um, the reason, um, in, in this class, I, this is my first CEO class and I was quite scared of it because I was always nervous of like what it held, um, like taking the jobs and learning more about the business side. But I ended up really loving this class and it definitely was the mentors and, the, and, and of course Melinda that really helped my nerves with it and made me love it so much. I got to learn so much from the from my fellow, from my um, mentors, and of course, even my fellow students who recommended it so much. Um, one thing I definitely loved most about this class was the environment in it. Um, we, it was always so uplifting and extremely encouraging, and everyone would always encourage each other to go outside with the box and just do anything, even if we're scared of it, because that was the only way to get over our fears of our photos, was to just go for any ideals in our head. Um, also, I definitely love the laughter and the banter. It was con it was like loving teasing. Like we can joke around with our mentor and just unmute and just joke around with one another. And it was always, there was always smiles on everyone's faces. There was always someone laughing in the background. I loved it so much. Every class was definitely an enjoyment. And I loved it so much. Thank you so much, Ruth, and all of our students who presented today. Uh, I highly encourage you, if you haven't already checked out all of the student and exhibitions, go onto our website to check those out. And all of our students uh, are there. Some of our students have longer portfolios where if you click on their projects or their portfolios, you can see even more of their images than what's currently on our website. So I highly encourage you all to view all of those. Um, really, congratulations to all of you all. I know it wasn't a, an easy semester, an easy time for a lot of you, and you know, doing this virtual thing gets really tiring after a while, but the energy you all put into your images and into your class always really energizes us, and so we're always so grateful to you all um, to have you know, this energy and creativity to put into your projects. 
We will have some Q&A right now, uh, but before we get into Q&A, I just wanted to say a really quick thank you to our sponsors, uh, the California Arts Council, Department of Cultural Affairs Los Angeles, Philip and Edith Lonian Foundation, Converse, Dwight Stewart Youth Fund, the Annenberg Foundation, PayPal, uh, and Yerba Buena Fund, and as well as, of course, all of our donors and monthly supporters from our sister circle who keep our programs going as well. Thank you so much to all of you. Uh, for helping us create these amazing programs for our students. Also, thank you, thank you, a million times thank you to our teaching artists who led these amazing classes this semester and all of our volunteer mentors who just put in all their time and passion into the work and supporting our students um, to get their projects done and to really uh, step into their own creativity and their, you know, their, their future as photographers and creatives as well. So thank you again to all of our mentors um, and with that, we have a, oh yes, and thank you. Congratulations to all of our students. Uh, we had a, such an amazing class. We have an amazing class every semester, but you know, we had such an amazing class this semester. Everyone really stepped up to the plate. And so we're, we're so thankful for all of you all. Um, and so with that, let's get into some Q&A. We have just a few minutes. And as I mentioned, you can feel free to uh, add your questions into the chat if you'd like, or you can uh, share them out loud. We're stopping our screen sharing now so you can do the gallery view. And also please uh, feel free to take yourselves uh, or actually bring yourselves on camera. We always love to see your faces and you know come back as a community. Um, but yeah, let's get into any questions. Again, if you have questions, you can put them in the chat. If uh, you wanna ask it out loud, feel free to unmute yourself and ask it out loud. If you just have something that you'd like to share with students as well, um, any congratulatory remarks, we also welcome that as well. Okay, I'm gonna sing. Okay. Let's see. There's some congratulations going on in the chat here. Students as well, feel free to ask your mentors or your teaching artist questions too. Now's the time you can put them on the spot <laughs> or ask each other questions as well. So I have a question to all the students. You know, I promised I wouldn't embarrass Ruth. I'm her mom. <laughs> I promised I wouldn't embarrass her, but I have a question to all the students. How did you guys feel, you know, photography and all these strangers that you guys didn't know that, you know, that you guys were put out there in the open and say, okay, you know, I need you to take this picture of this model. How did you guys feel about that? Were you guys nervous, scared? You know, I know Ruth experiences, but I want to know what the experience of all the other students, how did you guys feel about it? Can Any they... students want to ask, answer that? Um, I think in some cases, I would be nervous just because I think my project might have had a little bit more um, sometimes like not necessarily like I don't know depth I guess where I like I think what came with like the that incorporating like activism into art like you have to be very like mindful um, because there's so many conflicting beliefs and responses so um, yeah, I think to an extent, I did feel that way as well. Um, I can add on to that. Um, it was an interesting semester just because it was like virtual. Um, so, you know, if we did have clients or anything like that, sometimes you had to photograph it like within your own home. And sometimes they didn't tell you what they wanted. So it's just kind of like, do whatever you want to do, which is awesome. But um, at least for me, I'm kind of like being told what to do. 
because it makes it so much easier for me. But um, the like one gig we had like in person, uh, we were family portraits. That I, I'm a very social person, so I really enjoyed it. You know, finally being able to get back out there and kind of being like, okay, do this, do that. But it was a little hard, you know. Sometimes it's like we had younger kids um, that just didn't want to stay still. <laughs> they kind of wanted to run around. I know some of the girls on the gig had to like chase kids and like take pictures of them. Um, but I think it's it's scary, you know, working with people you don't know. But um, it's a good experience. <laughs> Thank you. And MJ uh, uh, also dropped an answer in the chat. MJ, I don't know if you want to share that out loud or would you like me to share it for you? I can share it out loud. Um, I was very nervous, uh, but I was also like very happy and excited once I did it. And at times it was very awkward to like, you know, carry a camera out in public and have people stare at me. Um, but at the same time, it was a lot of fun being able to take photos at that moment rather than having posed photos because I feel like photos at that moment are the best type of photos. So I'm I'm very happy that I did carry a camera at times I went with my family and caught images like the one I, I, I showed. Thank you, MJ. There's another question in the chat. Uh, Royal asked, I would love to know if there are certain themes or topics that students find themselves returning to. So anyone can answer this. Or were there any particular themes or topics that you really enjoyed capturing this semester, something that maybe surprised you that you didn't think you'd actually like taking photos of? Um, I can go. <laughs> um, I experimented more with editorial and like product this semester. Um, and it was like so much fun. At least like the product sometimes it was kind of hard because I didn't know how to like set it up um, or like what would look good, but it was all about like experimenting and um, yeah, I think I would go back and do more product and more like editorial um, photography in the future. Um, I want to add to something. Um, I really like taking portraits. I really never thought about um, having fun with it, but I did have a session with my friends and my family. And I just, I think I, I made them like laugh and like do some funny stuff and I got I got them at the right moment and I really like that. Um I think I um really liked kind of using um what I found myself doing a lot was like using landscapes to like portray unnatural things and um I think the topic that I chose was kind of challenging, but I was really kind of happy with the way it turned out. And I think I would return to like a challenging topic like that to capture or using like, like the natural versus unnatural thing or stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely find myself going back to things and also overcoming some challenges. Thank you all so much for sharing. Uh, would anyone else like to share or does anyone else have a question? We have about one minute. So that's enough time for another question from anyone, can be anyone from our uh, audience, mentors, teaching artists, students. Uh, I'll actually, I'd like to answer the previous question. Um, I was surprised how much I'd like to work with models. Um, because I focused on self portraiture this semester, so most of my portraits in my portfolio are myself. But um, the first one I worked with um, was for 
the tricks issue for the brand we're working with and my mentor was meant to come over and just help me just um do my self portraits with it but out of the blue she was like oh i have a friend who's a model who wants to like work with um do it for you and i was like and she was like are you down and i was like sure why not it's like it was i haven't worked with a model for like a couple of years so i was just, like very nervous about it but i was actually very surprised how much i liked working with models and like learning how to direct other people but also getting like feedback from the model themselves like just learning how to like pose people is very like a cool thing because like you can do so much with the human body and like like the way like you pose them can make a photo change so much and like i was very surprised about that and i loved it Thank you so much for sharing that, Ruth. And yes, those those images, beautiful. Uh, they're on your portfolio, right, Ruth? Yes. So head over to the CEO site. We put it in the chat to check out those uh, those images that Ruth was mentioning. Uh, very beautiful images that she took for Trixie. And uh, Julieta wants to share, but she said her internet is a little wonky, so uh, I'll share it out for you, Julieta. Um, Julieta said that she is definitely going to further explore self-portraiture and dive more into Photoshop editing. Um, yes, highly encourage you to do that because that, Im that image that you share was really amazing. So we're looking forward to more of those images from you, Julieta. And we're now at our eight o'clock hour. So unless anyone else, I'll kind of check to see if anyone else has another question or one last comment that they'd like to share. No? Okay, with that, thank you all again so much for joining us tonight. Uh, and thank you for supporting our students, viewing their images. Um, all of our mentors, again, thank you for supporting our students, TAs as well. Thank you for facilitating their, their learning and students. Thank you all for your beautiful images and creativity. If you haven't uh, been connecting with us, we are lasfotosproject.org on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all of it at Las Fotos Project. Follow us there. Um, we this is the last of our student events for a little bit we're going to be back with our semester in the fall in august so keep an eye out for that we're really excited for that because we'll have some in-person classes again so really excited to get back together and be in community with with each other again um and then hopefully that also means that we'll have an in-person exhibition for those of you who have not been to one of our in-person exhibitions yet um, i'm really excited for you all to be able to experience that as well um and with that Thank you all so much. Have a really great night. Please enjoy your weekend and looking forward to seeing you again in our next exhibition. Bye all.